guys, it's Arena. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So for today's video, I decided to create a Apple Toffee inspired look. So I have a kind of glossy, glass skinned... I attempted to get as close to glass skin as I could. But it's like a little ready, glossy look. So if you want to see how to get this look, keep watching. I'm going to take some sunscreen and apply this all over my face just for a little extra moisture as well as to protect my skin from UV rays. For this look, I really wanted to create a natural glow, so I decided to apply concealer underneath my base just to help me color correct and conceal any blemishes that I wanted to hide. To blend that all out, I went in with my beauty blender just to help infuse the product into my skin. For my base, I opted for the Misha Signature Essence Cushion because I wanted a nice dewy finish with a little added extra coverage. For this eye look, I did want a softer brow, so I went in with a brown crayon, but I ended up going a little heavy handed with it, so I just had to buff out the edges just to soften it up a bit. For this look, I'm going to use only one shade, and it is Turkish Delight from the Desert Dusk palette by Huda Beauty. I'm going to take that shade and just buff it out all over my lids and then taking a flat brush I'm going to concentrate that on the center of my lids and slowly buff it out. Taking the same shade I'm just going to buff that along my lower lash line just to even out the eyes and create a little bit more depth. For a little added extra glow, I decided to highlight my brow bone. Honestly, this is actually a really light highlighter. It's pretty much just a glitter, but I thought it would add a nice touch. For this look, I really wanted to create a glossy eye look, but I've used gloss previously and it gets really messy, so this time I decided to opt for my Jelly Base Lip Balm. It has a really nice creamy texture that's easy to work with, but I would recommend patting it onto the eyes instead of rubbing because it can tend to move whatever you place underneath it. Just to brighten the eyes, I'm going in with a little bit more of that highlighter and placing that in my inner corners just to open them up a bit. I can't complete a look without adding at least a little bit of glitter, so I'm going in with my trusty Etude House TR eyeliner and emphasizing where I placed the highlighter just for a little more added shine. Since I do have that cream gloss on my eyelids, I am going to skip winged eyeliner for this look and just go straight to lashes and also add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lash line. And now for my favourite part, I'm going to add some blush. I honestly love using a nice cream lipstick as blush because I feel like it has such a gorgeous finish and just adds like a nice glow to the cheeks. Going in with the same highlighter, I'm just going to apply that down my nose bridge and along my cheekbones just for a little added shine. To tie this whole look together, I'm taking the same shade I used on my cheeks and applying that to my lips. I'm honestly so happy with how well this lip colour matches my eyes. And of course to finish off this glossy look, I had to pop on my favourite gloss at the moment. This one actually has some really pretty pink flecks sparkled within that added a really nice touch. And to complete the look, I decided to spray some of the Toucha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist just for that overall glow and shine. 
And that is all for my toffee apple inspired look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. And till then, bye! I did really want to quickly shout out my little brother for creating these cute little graphics for me. He has his own channel, so if you want to check him out, I'll leave it down below for you.